YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net for NCAA Football 14 and this is the Holly and Scotty's Team Builder Dynasty and this is the Custom Recruit Special. Now this is going to be a two part video because I could not fit all 20 uh, custom players that you guys submitted and uh, today we are going to see, uh, at least in this episode, we're going to see the first 10. So these are now these are some of the custom uh, custom guys that you uh, that I had from from last season. There were so many of them that I could not have the time to to, re, uh, to get them all set up and everything. So this season I'm going to do that. Now, as of right now, you guys can go ahead and put those custom recruits for next season here uh, down below in the video. Or better, if you really want to get a hold of me, uh, there's an email link, to, uh, there's an email address down below where you guys can email me your custom recruit. So first one we're gonna look at is Kalai uh, Carter. Uh, he is uh, from Emporia, uh, Emporia, Kansas. He's a halfback uh, slash fullback. As you take a look there, 5'9", 175 pounds. And he is a pretty good player. He's a huge K-State fan, and he dreams of playing for the Wildcats someday. Uh, and uh, this is a player uh, that you guys recruited here. Mom and Dad uh, both are K-State grads, and of course, he wants to follow their footsteps and play for K Kansas State. Uh, but he is looking to play for a small team like Highland. Uh, he is very impressed for what Coach uh, Teddy Bonds has done in the first couple of seasons and he believes that he can be a uh, good fit for coach Teddy Bonds and company so uh, one of the schools that are looking at him is K-State because he is a uh, you know uh, a legacy kind of a person mom and dad uh, were actually on the track team uh, so he has uh, some pretty good speed there not too bad 85 there in the speed uh, 75 strength agility 75 acceleration 75 and also awareness 75 uh, and then just take a look just break down some of the things uh, he can do there uh, when his other attributes there uh, we are going to definitely going to be trying to target him as a player that we can try to go after uh, for next season uh, when we go into season five and of course we will be in the big 12 so there's a good chance if we don't get him and k-state does we can see him on the field early as a freshman so uh, of course we would uh, you know i'm going to try and do my best to get all these players here in here uh in the series now there is going to be a special announcement after the second video yeah i'm gonna make you guys wait about some uh another ways of you guys can do custom recruits here to really uh if you really want to be on the team there are some ways that you can do it uh one of them of which you guys already know if you've been following here on the channel we do have a uh a, um, uh, a uh, uh, Patreon now. I just kind of lost it there. <laughs> uh, but we do have a Patreon uh, page now. You guys can go on there and, and uh, there's a link down below. And of course, there are some uh, things on there. Uh, three different tiers uh, that you guys can join uh, if you if you feel like you want to help out with the channel and, and especially if you want a character that you really really want to have on the on this uh, squad here and, and be a superstar, uh, you can definitely. Uh, do that so um, you know don't have to join it's not required or anything but if you really want to get your custom recruiter here for exclusively on the channel on here on this series in this series or any really any series uh, that's how you guys can do it uh, so now we see Kanye Kelly uh, Kanye not like uh, Kanye West <laughs> uh, but we'll see here Kanye Kelly uh, there you see that young man there and he is gonna be a definitely gonna be a uh, superstar that we're definitely going to try to go after here. Uh, he is from Marshall, Missouri, and he is a uh, outside or a middle inside linebacker for us. And we'll see here. Uh, Kanye is a cousin. Oh, hey, he is the cousin of Kalai Kelly, a uh, of course a exclusive uh, superstar here on the channel, and he. Uh, is a uh, big fan growing up as Ray Lewis so he kind of imitates his game uh, as uh, like Ray Lewis did and right now I can just see the comments down below of the, of the jokes we're gonna make about uh, Ray Lewis and his career but nonetheless hopefully he doesn't have the exact same kind of career like Ray Lewis but the kind of the Hall of Fame numbers and stuff like that so he's a grew up watching the Baltimore Ravens 
uh, and of course he uh, is a big fan of those uh, that team and of course all the th great things they've done in real life um, you know unfortunately had you know had a great year uh, I guess number statistically in the regular season but uh, just came up short there during the playoffs uh, but there you see uh, 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 excuse me uh, calling his numbers there and he says he hopes one day he can uh, face his cousin in the NFL now this is a one this is a player I've been really uh, at least coach Teddy Bonds has been talking to me off and on throughout the season Ethan Parker the third yes he's a QB from El Dorado Kansas and you'll see his numbers here in just a bit of why and we'll take a look here Ethan uh, well he is a uh, you know he's an aspiring rapper uh, he also is uh, involved in social media he wants to be an influencer uh, and he's hoping that uh, if he can get to this uh, level in, in the collegiate level he can have a uh, you know a platform uh, and uh, get his uh, music out there and whatnot. Uh, he's also a big fan, of course, of football. He's this is his first uh, his love. Uh, but everyone in uh, he got the name EP3 uh, because of you know his rapping and whatnot. Um, but uh, he uh, yeah he uh, he's the uh, third, of course, uh, Ethan Parker and their family, uh, and he has great speed and accuracy throwing the football. Um, but also too, he's also a soccer star uh, there in El Dorado, and he is—he uh, has a pretty good kick, kicking ability also. So that could be very helpful there uh, if we can't find a kicker or whatever. Um, you know, he has a good kicking ability. Uh, his parents are of course uh, blue collar workers. They work uh, there at the uh, local prison. It's, I believe it's a state penitentiary there in El Dorado. So they, he knows what it's all about uh, with hard work and discipline and we're hoping to see him and uh, i know talking talking to coach teddy bonds uh, he just likes his kids work ethic um and uh, he's seen this young man he's uh, he's kind of talked you know over the uh, course of the you know during the off season um about uh pot you know he originally uh, ethan was wanting to go to like a uh div or a uh, like a small division uh division two school or maybe even a junior college but uh, Coach Teddy Bonds has kind of talked him out of it, and he is, uh, you know, he, he's actually got a couple offers from a lot of different places. Uh, I know, uh, I know a couple of Big 12 schools. I'm not exactly know for sure which ones are going are kind of targeting him, but uh, there are a few there that are looking at him, and uh, possibly like one of them I know for sure is K State, and I believe Oklahoma are looking at him as possible. Uh, future quarterback for them uh, of course he wouldn't start his first year he would definitely have to uh, sit out for either one of those two programs uh, but yeah he for coach Tavon says you know if he uh, you know decides to go to uh, Highland he would definitely uh, he would be in the running for a starting position uh, next season of course there you know we have we have several quarterbacks uh, not unless a quarterback controversy, and we'll get into that uh, in the preview uh, video uh, after these uh, two videos of this uh, recruiting special here. But yeah, this is definitely a, a year we have a, quite a few quarterbacks. All quarter, I think, I believe all five quarterbacks right now on our roster are all red shirt players, uh, and that includes Rush. Uh, this is his uh, senior year, so this is the fifth year for him, and uh, he is, of course, uh, he's already been named the number one. QB. He is QB1 for this season, and we'll talk more about that uh, coming up in the uh, in the preview video. But uh, nonetheless, there uh, that is a good quarterback. We can't wait to see what Ethan can do. Uh, this is uh, you know he's uh, fresh or his senior year this year, and he's hoping to uh, try to win state there for El Dorado. All right, so move on now to Tommy Foster. Tommy Foster, DN. Or excuse me, D tackle, and we'll see him at 6'2", 200, or excuse me, two, uh, 330, uh, 310 pounds there. And Tommy uh, is a country boy from Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah, he grew up as, of course, a Nebraska Cornhuskers fan, but also is a huge Tampa Bay um, fan. Of course, he uh, wanted to, uh, you know, uh, imitate his game very closely to Warren Sapp, or I should say Hall of Famer Warren Sapp. Um, 
also too he play does play a little bit of uh from time to time does play a little bit of dn at times and uh just last this last uh, season uh with a couple of injuries there he also uh played a little bit of middle linebacker so uh he's a big boy there but uh he you know he just for a guy his size he does have some uh some decent speed um he didn't play too much linebacker there this season but uh we can you know um, well, he, I definitely, he would definitely be a monster there on the line as we really this year don't have, um, oh, I mean, we have a still, we still got a good solid core defensive core, uh, defensive line there. Uh, but you know, uh, I, you know, we don't have somebody that can just uh, take over a game defensively like we did with Sheldon Sherman. And uh, he, of course we all are going to miss uh, Sheldon Sherman and his antics there on the uh, defensive line, of course, in the locker room there. Uh, but yeah, this guy, this young man right here, could be uh, half of what Sheldon Sherman is uh, on the field, and uh, we we'll definitely cannot wait to uh, see what this young man can do. And we we'll definitely, Coach Teddy Bond says he is going to go off for him uh, pretty strong. Of course, Nebraska is looking at him. Iowa State, I think, is another one, and I believe, uh, I believe uh, Iowa is another school that are trying to target this young man so and this young man yeah you know he pretty much uh you know he was uh, all state uh for defensive tackles uh, this past year um so he's definitely going for his senior year hopefully uh, he did have um a, a, an early injury but it wasn't nothing serious uh, so we'll see how that plays out here as uh he goes into his uh, senior year there and uh, we wish the, everybody really all these uh, players here the best of best season having a great year uh, coming up their senior year because so this is definitely the time that you want to put up some good numbers here and just really try to impress uh, the coaches around the country and of course uh, you know uh, schools and stuff like that for scholarships so move on and we'll see there just uh, pretty good recognition not the best uh, decent pursuit for a guy his size there but you know look at that finesse and block uh, block shedding and the um, power moves there really good top of uh, the class there for him and well just like I said uh, coach Teddy Bonds is just some of these young men that here that he really ho is hoping to make uh, and make an impact here because this year you know we're gonna explain more about it in the um, preview video but you know th this is a year that the, a lot of these young men here they have a good shot here of you know if they can uh, if they decide to come to Highland uh, in the start of year five you know we're gonna be playing the Big 12 for the first time that is gonna be something new um, hopefully we're coming off a of a successful season uh, hopefully you know we're a lot of you are talking that we could uh, three peat this year could go back to the national championship and and, and uh, win that one for the third uh, going you know going to the national championship four straight years and win it you know three out of four that's something really impressive and, and just something amazing there um so you know this is just just a really um great moment for these guys that could uh, make a difference uh being on this team all right uh, let's move on now i believe i'm trying to look at my notes here looks like uh we got uh ismail daily ismail daily he is from iowa city iowa Take a look there. Uh, he'll, of course, come in as a freshman next season. And we'll see that uh, he is a uh, little bit of a local legend. At least that's what we were told from uh, the coaching staff there for his high school team. And uh, they say, uh, you know, he uh, is a you know, great player. Uh, good, uh, really good uh, head on his shoulders. Uh, smart young man who is... Uh, you know on the field and uh, plays it you know plays to the whistle there uh, and definitely uh, a locker room um, locker room guy who will uh, set things right and just be a uh, leader there for those guys in, for on the team so that's what definitely coach Tay Bonds is looking for for a guy like that um, but uh, his nickname there his friend, cl friends and close family call him ID uh, because uh, and, and they say is because uh, the game uh, what is it uh, 
uh, call he's called that because of the position on the football field um, uh, as a wide receiver they just say his when he's running and uh, out there playing it's just hard to identify what type of player he is he just uh, is, he's very uh, different in the way he approaches every single game so don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but they call him ID for short as uh, uh, one coach said you know he's he's got lightning speed they don't want to call him flash because you know there's a lot of people call flash and uh, did a lot of different sports there but uh, they just call him that and they call him ID just because he's just identified unidentifiable um, he's got really no identity uh, to the type of game he plays so um, but we'll see how that goes now a name that I didn't think we were gonna really see for quite some time but there is another Flanagan yes Axel Flanagan the younger brother he's actually one of I believe five um, actually he is uh, what is it? he is yeah he's one of four brothers of Alex Flanagan of course a former Highland Sky he's now of course now going to the NFL and uh, of course, uh, have helped us win uh, two national championships, and we'll see here. Uh, his younger brother, of course, from Berkeley, California, uh, but Axel is a little different. Axel, uh, he plays, uh, he played a wide receiver and quarterback, so uh, we don't know exactly where he's going to come in as. Right now, for for now, we have him at at, at uh, excuse me, as quarterback. And uh, he has some pretty good numbers there on both uh, from as a receiver and as a uh, QB. So he's definitely going to be an athlete that I know Coach Teddy Bonds is going to be really wanting to see. Uh, many say he, that he has better accuracy than his brother um, and uh, better poise on the field. He doesn't get upset as easily. Um, and uh, he's the type of guy who likes to, uh, if, if a play breaks down, it's not going right for him. Um, you know, he just goes at it. He just uh, goes for it and uh, not like a gunslinger like his brother was, but uh, he'll make a play with his feet as uh, he has pretty decent speed there. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to try to really target him uh, in that. And also, we got another uh, possible chance to get another sibling coming to Highland. This is Hudson Cannon from Grand Island, Nebraska. Yes, of course, he is the younger brother of Hunter Cannon. As uh, the Cannons, they are there. Uh, they're, I believe there is two more, two more young men uh, that could possibly. They're playing football right now. They're both. Uh, I think one is a uh, sophomore, and the other one is a. Or, no, one's a sophomore. And I think one's a freshman. Um, so a little bit of uh, some stair steps there. Uh, as Hunter, of course, now is in, going to the. He's you know, guys uh, is going to the NFL, and uh, now we have another Hudson. Or I should say another cannon here this time Hudson uh, Hudson great uh, player uh, but more known as I take a look at my notes here um, he's he can play in three different positions uh, he looks like he can uh, of course play tight end just like his brother uh, he's also played a little bit of offensive line uh, this uh, for his junior year and he has also ability to play some wide receiver yeah so this is what I like to see. I would like to see a big guy like him. Uh, he is a 6'3", 230 pounds. Yes. Uh, I don't know about wide receiver. I don't know if Coach Tate Bonds would do that. Uh, but I can see him being in that fullback and uh, tight end situation there. As uh, Coach Tate Bonds has been looking for a, you know, been trying to get a decent fullback here uh, the last couple of seasons now. Uh, and I think he might have it if we can get a hold of Hudson. Uh, 80 speed uh, he has better hands um, better hands than his brother but the speed not as uh, good as him or neither is the uh, awareness so uh, that's one thing we'll definitely have to work on with him if he happens to sign uh, if we uh, you know recruit him hard and of course coach bonds is definitely going to be trying to recruit him hard uh, another one is uh, Roderick Harper uh, he is uh, 6'6 Five, 305 pounds he uh, as we take a look here at my notes uh, he is going to play uh, in the tackle position uh, he can play really tackle or center it uh, doesn't matter which side of the, of the line left or right uh, but this young man he is very talented uh, decent uh, strength 
uh, but a really great awareness and also his block and uh, really just a great blocker. Um, he actually, uh, oddly enough, uh, well, his family owns a farm. They own a local farm there in uh, Andover, Kansas. And uh, he wants to see if he can play on the college level. He's been on County All-State um, in eight-man football. But um, to really help out his uh, his ability, he actually, uh, of all things, I don't know where you would find this in the state of Kansas. I think he probably would have to go to Wichita, which I believe that's the closest to him. Uh, he would uh, he uh, learn uh, he studied the um, MMA, and one of the uh, classes he took was um, um, uh, what is the uh, oh uh, some or uh, not Samoan geez um, is uh, oh what is it they wear the giant diapers now nah, I just oh jeez um, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about he studied that and he studied other disciplines there. Um, and as he said that's helped him out. So we'll see if that will come uh, true here for him. Um, and, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but, uh, we actually have coach tape on see some tape of him and he was really impressed, uh, with his way of just, you know, shucking guys off and, and open up the hole there for, uh, the, for the halfbacks and fullbacks there for his team. So, um, nice to see that. Of course he, you know, eight man football, really, you know, regardless it's football, football is football. Um, but yeah, did, he had a great season there. Uh, did not give any up, uh, give any sacks up. So, uh, great job there for actually last two years now. Uh, he's done that. Uh, Graham Garrison, another uh, player here we are looking at, and we'll look at uh, Graham's uh, no, 6'3", 220 pounds from Grove, Oklahoma, uh, middle linebacker, and uh, uh, 75 speed, 75 strength. Uh, tackle at 80, uh, so he's definitely a tack, got a great guy that can tackle uh, along with his, I believe his pursuit is just right up there, um, and of course hit power, uh, he can really put a hurting on people. Uh, long time Oklahoma Sooners fan mom went to um, Oklahoma to study education. Uh, she's a teacher working actually now, she, I believe she's working on her master's to go uh, into um, being a uh, doctor, get her doctorate, and of course uh, be a principal uh, at some point. Uh, and then her, their, his dad, uh, Graham's dad, uh, it went to Oklahoma State. Yeah, how did, how in the hell do they meet? That's, I don't, I, that, that's just, that's like someone getting, I mean, I know it's, I know people are, you know, they, they, you know, married, uh, but you know, that's like someone dating from, you know, someone from Oklahoma, from, you know, Kansas, from Kansas to Kansas state. I mean, I, I know personally, I know people are yeah, mad, but how do they, how do those two people meet? They go to two opposite schools for one, hate each other. How do they meet? But yeah, Graham says, uh, you know, he gets every year during football season, uh, you know, he wears a shirt that has both uh, Oklahoma state and Oklahoma on it. So he's on the fence on those. Uh, of course, they are both looking at him along with Tulsa and I believe uh, an SEC school. I believe it's Texas Tech are looking at him also there too. So, uh, of course, those will change uh, the course of the you know season as we move along. But this is part one. Part two will be coming up pretty very, very soon here. And uh, we'll get to the last 10 uh, recruits that you guys recruited. And of course, like I said, we have another announcement of how you guys can uh, for sure uh, besides if you guys don't want to support us on patreon you don't have to but it'll be very very helpful to help uh, get videos in this uh, like this series and other series here on the channel out more frequently but uh, also too uh, it's a way that you guys can definitely get your uh, superstar uh, your player of this series or any other series we have on the channel that you guys want to be a part of uh, exclusively on the team um, so definitely don't forget about that, but, uh, yeah, that is it, uh, for this, uh, first part of the custom recruit special. We'll have part two coming up here about a day or two and you guys will see the last the 10. And of course that special announcement, um, that, uh, I'm going to make and, uh, don't forget you guys can follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and the score. Don't forget. We do have Patreon, Like I just mentioned earlier. Uh, a great way to be a part of the nation here on ESGN Net, and again, of course, help me out uh, in producing videos on a time, more timely basis. So, 
Again, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, keep, your health, keep yourself and each other healthy, and I'll see you guys in part two of uh, this custom recruit special. I'll see you guys next time.